Hello everyone, my name is Excessive, and today we are back on Hypixel Skyblock. So right now Aatrox is Mayor, and he makes Slayers pretty OP, and so today we're going to try something I've never done before, which is kill a tier 5 Revenant. I have done a test so far of trying to kill him once, and I have failed, so we're going to try to buy some items and see if we can actually be able to kill him. But before we hop into today's video, I would like to thank everyone who subscribed from the last video. The last video really popped off. We're getting so close to 1,000 subscribers. I haven't really, you know, planned anything out yet for what we're going to do for the 1,000. Just know that when we do hit there, we'll think of something and I'll make sure it's going to be big. And just like every video, we're going to be doing a 10 million coin giveaway. All you have to do to enter is join the Discord and then go to the giveaways channel and then react. And that's it. It really is that simple and easy. So what are we looking at buying? So far what I've been looking at is for a Reaper Falchion. They're pretty cheap. I kind of missed out on a really good deal. I wasn't recording and I was looking through the auction house and I saw a Reaper Falchion with Hot Potato Books, with One For All, with Fabled for only 3 million. I didn't realize how good of a deal it was and I should have bought it. So we're just going to buy a clean one for 4 mil. There we go. So here it is, our Reaper Falchion. Currently the gear we're running is Tarantula Helmet, which we'll upgrade here in a second. Um, Shadow Assassin chest plates, and then two Crimson pieces for the bottom. So the stats are decent. Most notably is that you deal 200% extra damage to the zombies. That being plus 200, so you're actually doing triple damage to zombies. As well as you receive less damage. So that's pretty cool. We're going to go for the one for all enchant just because it's super easy and kind of cheap. Yeah, I know four mil isn't, you know, super cheap, but it's it's, it's nice. It makes it so convenient and only have to apply one enchant. There we go. So for 4.8 mil, we now have the one for all enchant. Um, let's see how much it will cost to apply that. So there's the one for all. Only 45 levels, wow, that's pretty nice. So here we go. We now have our one for all, if it goes. We now have our one for all Reaper Falchion. Next, what we're going to buy is a Dragon Claw, which should be very cheap. Yeah, should give us the Fabled, yep. We're just gonna buy one instantly for 70,000, super cheap. I'm gonna go over here to the Anvil and apply it. Here's our fabled Reaper Falchion now. Now we're going to hit it with some hot potato books. We're going to buy 10 of these hot potato books. Only 1.1 mil. I accidentally bought 20. <laughs> nice. I guess now we just start combining them. So there we go, we apply 10, so now we get plus 20 damage and strength, which is pretty nice. We are going to go for the Fuming Hot Potato books as well. We're going to buy 5 of these for 6 mil, which is kind of pricey. So after spending all that money, let's go do a damage test real quick with this. And we hit 4, Woo, okay, 170,000, I was actually super scared that we're going to hit it and it was going to do even less damage than the livid dagger that was my greatest fear so 165,000. we're doing a bit more than triple our damage than we were with the livid dagger so that's actually really comforting wow we hit pretty hard and once we do get our stacks up from our crimson armor if we check here it's going to hit twice so we are technically hitting for over 300,000 per swipe that's if we can maintain the 10 stacks Here we go. We're going to call it Maddox and officially start this grind. Let's see if we can get it. Tier 5. Let's go. So here we go. Hide in the corner. Do it for a little bit and then I'm going to run. He starts throwing some stuff. Maybe we go back in the corner now that he's attacked. I'm going to run over here.
Oh my god, we got it. Okay. So I think that is the strat. Is we can just swap between these corners every so often. Because I think it is kind of like... I think a lot of the bosses have that mechanic. I know wolves and zombies do. Where like if you don't get hit by them for a long enough period, they'll like guarantee like one huge hit. So we're going to try that again and see if we can get another good kill. There we go. Okay. So as two kills in a row without dying. Kind of scuffed, but it is doable. Okay, so now that we have a way to consistently kill them without dying, we're going to see, as always, how much money we can make in one hour of doing these and just pray we get some crazy drops. Speaking of, let's check our RNG meter. So the big drops we could go for are going to be Scythe Blade. Seems like it goes for about six and a half mil. Smite 7, which goes for about 3.7, around 4 mil, I guess. Shard of the Shredded, 20 mil, just about. Word and Heart, almost 200 mil. So yeah, I guess Word and Heart would be really cool to go for because it's like just the biggest drop. But maybe Shard is actually more worth it. Actually, for 10 times the amount. Oh, wait, definitely Word and Heart is more efficient. Then Shard of the Shredded. So as always, there's the timer. We're going to grind for one hour and we'll see if we get any cool drops. Okay, I'll see you guys there. We're going to count it. This is close enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Bro, I think it's annoying. Okay. I'm gonna go tally up how much money we made. So not including the spooky festival drops. We really only made like one and a half million over the course of an hour. But we're not killing them that efficiently. We're also I think we died like six or seven times, so that really like put us behind. And Zombie Slayer is going to be one of those things where you are really banking on those big drops. There's only like two drops that you could argue are like consistent small ones. Like we're going to try here. We check the RNG meter stuff. The only drops you really look forward to are the Viscera, which I guess when you, dro uh, when you drop them, you get like 200 to 300,000 coins back, which pretty much covers the cost of actually spawning those bosses. So the Viscera helps you stay even in terms of spawning the bosses. And then only these big drops are the ones we're really going to make profit on. So we got a Scythe Blade, which is pretty insane. I'm surprised we even got that. But I mean, over the very long period of time that you would grind this, eventually you would hit a Warden Heart, which is the 200 million drop, which is what this is all for. So if it took you like 20 hours to get this, that would be 10 mil per hour. So that's pretty much what you're investing in with Zombie Slayer. There's no good consistent drops. It is just pure RNG. So, I mean, if you do commit to it until you get the Warden Heart, it is definitely worth it. I don't think my character is really that strong yet. I'm, I'm definitely not clearing them efficiently. I don't have enough magic find. So it's kind of rough. So we made, I guess in total, that's about 9 million coins per hour. And that is without including the Warden Heart, which would be a guaranteed drop after 20 hours. So overall, I mean, it's just super RNG based. I think it's really fun. I'm going to keep grinding out uh, Zombie Slayer as long as I can while Aatrox is still Mare, which I believe is like two days. Um, if I do get anything crazy, I'll be sure to make a video on it if I do drop a Warden Heart, which would be really fun. But one great thing about Zombie Slayers is that you get a lot of combat XP. We ended up hitting combat, what was it, 36 during that? Already 10% of the way there to 37. So you do get a lot of combat XP. Your pets do go up in level. Oh, hey, Bren. How's it going, man? I'll put you in the video. Say hi. There you go. That's pretty much going to be it for today's video. Unfortunately, nothing crazy. Overall, though, I had fun doing zombies. I'm excited that I can finally farm tier 5s. And hopefully, we'll get some insane drops in the future. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Take care.